Hello everybody, I'm Claudio Robustalitas from the University of Turin and I'm also a member of the Chiman Art Laboratory Group. I'm in my last year of PhD and I've been working on shear zone in convergent margin using rock magnetic techniques. I'm going to present you some interesting magnetic fabric evidences of multiple deformation in tectonic melanges. So here the question is, can rock magnetic techniques reveal strain partitioning? and maybe provide significant information to better understand the geodynamic evolution of subduction attraction complexes. So try to find a solution. I worked in the Ligurian accretionary complex, which is a nice example of fancy subduction attraction complexes cropping out in the northern Apennine in Italy. Here, the original sedimentary sequence was disrupted into broken formation during the accretionary stage and subsequently involved in the trusting stage during the collisional episode leading to tectonic melange formation. I obtained some intriguing insight in the deformation history and strain partitioning, measuring the AMS and making comparison with the structural data and also the deformation intensity. To better characterize the magnetic fabric, I investigated the magnetic mineralogy and I separated the orientation of the difference of population of ferromagnetic grain using four separate harm experiments. My results reveal a progressive increment in the anisotopy degree and the shape parameter coming closer to the main thrust folds, and also a specific AMS pattern depending on the predominant deformation events. In the broken formation, the magnetic fabric characterized by a magnetic lineation consistent with the block long axis lineation recorded the layer parallel extension had occurred at the wedge front. In the tectonic melange close the main thrust fold, I observed a shear related fabric with magnetic lineation consistent with the shear direction of the northwest Bergen thrusting stage but away from the thrust, a layer parallel shortening fabric shows up, suggesting a highly localized train and an intense shearing only close to the main thrust poles. So my funding support the potential of magnetic fabric study in revealing the strain partitioning and also the superposition of different deformation events. And that's it. Thank you for your attention. And if you are interested in my work, please have a look at my poster.